It's gilded age where the hair is slick and the suits are stylized and coaches own racehorses in Kentucky. One coach owns a jackass in Illinois instead, along with his working farm there. That would be the farmer slash coach heading back to the NBA Finals. In a now day and age, with the exception of a few, it's got to be the suit and ties, the designer clothes, the limos, all of that. He can care less about that. We tease him a little bit about the John Deere hats and stuff like that and some of the country jokes. But other than that, you know, we know he's a good guy. We know that if you go into war, he's the type of guy that you want behind you or in front of you because he's going to fight to the death. Perhaps that quiet tenacity has kept Sloan from ever having to fight for his NBA life. No coach in the league has headed his team longer than Sloan has, now in his 10th season. And no team, it seems, more embodies its coach. Pick and roll, Utah's signature play of simplicity, even sounds like a pair of chores done back on the farm. I think you always follow the uh, personality of your coach somewhat, especially when he's a good one like this. And, and uh, uh, blue collar, whatever you want to call him, uh, he, he's not, he doesn't want to toot his own horn. He's not going to come out here and tell us how great he is or, or uh, convince us that he's the smartest coach in the world. He comes out here and he works as hard as we do, only at his end to try to get us ready. Even if you are on the farm, the guys that work there, they have a tremendous amount of uh, responsibility to, to get out and get the job done. And that's just everyday life stuff. It's not anything earth-shattering what we talk about. Nothing about Jerry Sloan is earth-shattering, more like salt of the earth. From his one and a quarter million dollar salary, nowhere near the league's highest, to his disdain for endorsements, to his no-nonsense approach to his players, Sloan has earned their respect and their loyalty. Carl Malone says he won't play for the Jazz if Sloan is not the coach. But what run Coach Sloan away from the business is that hard work attitude. When he can't tell a player what to do and they don't respond, he's not going to be alone just for the money. The way the game is today, there's so many things outside the game that are more important in the game, and I still think we have a responsibility to try to make the game important rather than what goes on outside the game and off the floor and all those things.